Breaking news out of Kern County, where another powerful earthquake has struck. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. And I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. The 7.1 magnitude quake hit at 8.19 tonight, about 10 miles from Ridgecrest, where a 6.4 quake struck yesterday. The area has been rattled by aftershocks all day, but seismologists say that quake yesterday was actually a foreshock to tonight's. News 8's Richard Allen is here with the very latest. Richard. Well, that's right. That 7.1 quake that struck this evening is part of an ongoing sequence of quakes in the Searles Valley, striking at about 10 miles northeast of Ridgecrest, very near where yesterday's morning 6.4 earthquake was centered. Now, tonight's quake was felt as far away as Las Vegas, including at the NBA Summer League game between the Knicks and Pelicans. You have to give yourself an opportunity. To Folks, we're experiencing an earthquake right now. Whoa, yes, can we are. Can you feel the I earth can. below you? Yes, I can. Here at Thomas and Mack. Yes, I can. The building is, is shaking. Swimming. And tonight's game was delayed because of this quake. Scoreboards and speakers near the ceiling of the arena shook when the earthquake hit. Now, according to seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones, yesterday's 6.4 quake is considered the foreshock to this evening's much larger 7.1 quake. Of course, yesterday's quake had been the largest that California experienced in nearly two decades and had produced more than 1,400 aftershocks. We also have reports from residents that there are cracked buildings and other reports of damage and injuries in both Kern and San Bernardino. Dino counties. One Ridgecrest resident saying that he felt his house shake for between 20 and 25 seconds this evening. At this late hour, though, we do not, do not know the exact extent of the damage or injuries. My expectation is that Ridgecrest is having a pretty difficult time tonight. Um, it is a foreshock. When an aftershock becomes bigger than the main shock, we change the name and call the first one a foreshock. So everything up before the 7.1 would be a considered a foreshock to this earthquake. And we are continuing to gather information about the exact extent of the damage and injuries this evening. We'll bring you the latest coming up in a report at 1030. Carlo and Barbara Lee. Amazing video. Thanks, Richard. And within moments of that quake hitting, reaction began to pour in on social media. News 8's Amanda Shotsky is in our newsroom now with more on what people are saying. Amanda? Well, we all felt it here at the station. Our lights in the newsroom were moving and swinging around, and there have been reports of similar activity all the way from Reno to San Ysidro. It didn't take long for social media posts with images and comments to start rolling in. Just moments after the shaking started, social media lit up. Pools with water churning. This one here in San Diego, another with a message telling everyone to stay safe. Chandeliers and lights also moving around. On Twitter, the Padres shared video of what the game looked like through the lens of their camera bouncing everywhere. Some described the earthquake, which was centered near Ridgecrest, as the longest or largest they've ever felt. People reported feeling it from Reno to Yucca Valley, where some posted what it looks like inside a Walmart, where bottles and food crashed all over the floor. It's Seismologist Dr. Lucy so Jones has been posting updates as well, fall. saying in one tweet, you know, we say one in 20 chance that an earthquake will be followed by something bigger. This is that one in 20 time. And unfortunately, there's already reports of house fires and widespread power outages closer to the epicenter of this quake that's in Ridgecrest. As far as the extent of damage is too soon to tell right now, of course, we will continue to bring you updates as soon as new information comes in. Back to you. All right, Amanda, thank you.